track in Indiana. After spending a week in the hospital, Jay has been recuperating at home. Last week, he made his first visit to his team's shop to see the remains of his car, and our Larry Rice was there. So you didn't take it apart yet? No. <laughs> we just unloaded it last week. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Banged her up. Just a little bit. Yeah, there wasn't much left. No, I guess not. Looks like where you hit your head. See how hard this went back? Oh, yeah. Your head probably just went back in the seat so hard that it actually dinged the pipe. That's the only thing that's hurt in the cage area. You know, just the force of your head going back so hard. Don't know if something broke or rubbed the wall or kind of at the fastest point of the straightaway. Just Turned the wrong way. Turned the wrong way. Said <laughs> <coughs> no well. You're like a cat with nine lives. <laughs> Not about your fourth one. <laughs> First of all, Jay, everybody's gonna want to know how you doing, how you feeling. Well, I'm doing fairly well, I guess, considering I'm I got a couple broken bones, you know, the arms broken, the collarbone, and that kind of slows me down a lot more than I would have liked it to, but uh, other than that, you know, health-wise, I'm in real good shape, you know, my my mind's okay, and I want to move around and do a lot of stuff that I'm just not able to do because of the arm and the collarbone keeps me tied down a little bit, but once those heals up, we'll be back to good as new. That particular day, I remember being in the pits early in the night before I ever even got on the racetrack, and and that's pretty much it. I don't remember turning a lap there at that track that day, and um, which, you know, I guess is just as well. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of memories of turning laps at that track before, so if I don't remember any from that day, that'd be just fine. When you crash good enough to break your bones and your body up, you gotta expect the car to be in worse shape than that, and, you know, it certainly is. Uh, I'm just fortunate enough that it held up as good as it did, and basically saved my life, you know, an impact like that in a, a lesser car, I think, could have could have really tore me up. And that's just testimony to the guys at um, Stealth and, you know, Simpson Products that build all the safety equipment and the chassis and that. And, you know, you can ride out a, a crash like that and more or less get up and go away from it and come back another day. I know you're already thinking about coming back. Any prognosis? Well, I don't know. I don't know about prognosis, but we're sure hoping to make it back to the Chili Bowl again. Uh, you know, we won that race last year, and it'd be a real shame not to come back and try it again for, you know, a second year in a row. But we just have to wait and see how it goes. And I don't remember being at the track that day, so it's not like the memory of the crash is going to affect me at all. <laughs> other than other than healing up, uh, that's all we got to, to get over is, is uh, you know, get the arms working back and top shape and we'll be back in ready to race. The car was divided into three pieces. He was basically sitting in just the area that uh, contains the cockpit. It was a horrifying crash and our cameras were there when Jay got out of the hospital and saw that car back in the shop for the first